guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a memory spread for the week of April 10th through the 16th. I'm using my Sadie stickers inserts with my Aura Stell A5 wide planner and my kit called Painted Lights. It's a tangled Rapunzel inspired theme and this has beautiful gold glitter overlays. If you get this kit, you have to get the gold glitter overlays. It makes it so super special and unique and just gives it so much pizzazz. So I'm running you through the sheets that the Lux kit comes with here. I did go ahead and lay down all of the foil overlays. I also have my custom scripts, my character sticker binder, and my custom pictures for the spread. This week was really special. It was the week after Easter and also the week after my youngest child turned one. And it was also the week that that same kid started to walk. So definitely a memorable week. Alex's parents were still in town on the first half of this week. They had come in for Easter, not back in April, but in the current time. I actually just got back from a two week trip. We spent a week Week with my family and then a week with Alex's family and I still kind of feel like I'm mentally on vacation but I really want to start working on these videos that I filmed before the trip that I kind of thought in my mind maybe I would like get them up during the trip and that just did not happen I just with two kids it's insane when you're on vacation so like I said this is the week that my youngest started to walk which was really exciting he walked a lot sooner than my first child walked I think James was like 17 months when he walked and hubby his name is Scott but we call him hubby hubby walked you know the week after his first birthday which I know that's really common in children that are not the first because they're trying to keep up with older siblings Monday of this week I did some work and then just hung out with the family. I do have on there that I did a jury duty binge, which is a show on Amazon Prime. It is so funny. I highly recommend it. I binged it so quickly. Blair recommended it to me. Everyone in the whole show is an actor except for one person. And that person thinks that there's a camera crew that's doing like a behind the scenes of what happens in the American judicial system. And he doesn't know that he's the only one who's not an actor. So everyone else is in on it. And they make this court case and trial so crazy, but crazy within the realm of like, it could be possible. So he has no idea. And the whole show is basically like this giant prank on this guy who thinks that this is a legitimate court trial. And it's even made more real because it takes place in LA right and they have an actor a real life actor James Marsden like one of my favorite actors I think he is so cute he was in the notebook and hairspray and Sonic the Hedgehog and a bunch of other things he is in it but he plays himself as if him as a person not as an actor but as a person was selected for this jury duty too and because the main guy like recognizes him and knows that he's like an actor it makes it even more realistic that this is like an actual jury duty trial anyway it's so funny Blair recommended it like I said I binged it this day while I was doing some computer work and I was like cackling at certain points of it. It's so funny. Tuesday, hubby had his one year doctor appointment. So he had to get all of his one year shots, which was really sad. And he also took this like cool eye exam and he passed it, but I thought it was cool. Cause he just like looked in this thing that looks like a pair of binoculars. And then they were like, yeah, his vision is great. And I'm like, how did they even do that? I wish they had had that when we were kids. And then in the evening, I just have that we did a family movie night and that Papa Goot made burritos and cookies. He cooks every time he comes into town or we go visit them, but his burritos and his cookies are like my favorite things that he makes. They're so good. So we had those. Then Wednesday, I put that that is the day that hubby walked and you guys, he didn't just walk. Like when James walked, it was like a couple of steps and then he would kind of like topple down and then try again and try again. That makes sense. That's how most kids walk. Hovey took off and did like 12 steps in a row. And then grandma and grandpa took James to Chuck E. Cheese's. It was their last day and they wanted to do something special. And Alex and I stayed home and we watched The Last of Us. Thursday morning, the Goots left pretty early. So when we woke up, they were already gone. And I had a doctor's appointment with my rheumatologist. I had to get some um, blood work done that I have to do like regularly in order to make sure that my autoimmune medication is okay on like my kidneys and my liver. Everything was good. And then I came home and I ordered some cute clothes for the boys because 
Hubby had outgrown all of his things. And then every time I order things for Hubby, I order things for James too. Friday, James got a haircut. I put that I had like a ton of laundry. I don't know how I got so behind on laundry, but I had like six loads to do that day. And I was so frustrated with myself. And I was like, why do I let myself get so behind? The weekend ended up being unexpectedly really fun. So first we woke up on Saturday to a knock on the door. And it was James's little friends from down the road. And it was the first time, no, I take that back. It wasn't the first time. He He's had the next door neighbor, which is a little kid his age, come over before and knock on the door. But this was the first time that kids from down the road, like not right next door, came and like knocked on the door for a play date. And it just was so cute because I don't know. I feel like my friends and I always did that when we were little. And I think it's a lot less common now because of like safety things and stuff. I get it. But, and also James is like just now turned five. So he's like just getting to the age where that would even really happen. But it was really fun. James was so excited at this unexpected play date. They played on their scooters for a while and then they played in my backyard and they basically like went inside the bushes and the trees, which is gonna come back into play later. That afternoon, we had a scheduled play date. My friend Karen has a baby and she's one of my oldest friends. We met in middle school and we just, both happen to live in Nashville now. So she brought her little baby over and it was like a little play date for hubby mostly, but James also loves babies. So it was gonna be like a play date for both of them. So James had two play dates basically in the same day. Um, and Karen and I just visited. And then that night when we were doing baths for the boys, I found two ticks on James. And I was so, so upset about it because I didn't realize that I guess it's tick season. I don't know. I was never someone who like really played in the bushes and the trees and the grasses when I was a little kid. So I didn't get ticks. Apparently ticks are super common for boys. Alex said he's had a million ticks in his life. James had two ticks on him. I got them off, but it was like a big ordeal. It was a big thing. He was super upset about it. Um, yeah, like screamed. It was a whole thing. And then the next day on Sunday, Alex found two ticks on him. We did like full tick checks on everyone. Hubby didn't have any, but he also wasn't playing in the bushes. Apparently Alex had been like, had gone on a walk in the deep woods near our house with his parents when they had been in town with his dad. So that's probably where his ticks came from. The weather just got so bad outside out of nowhere. Like it, it's noon right now and it looks like it's dark outside. I'm gonna quickly finish this up since I'm already on Sunday and then I'm going to go downstairs where it's a little safer. Did read for hours on Sunday. I read a book called Frost and Nectar, which off the top of my mind, I cannot remember what it was about. I'm also really stressed and looking out the window. I gotta go. I'm afraid of the storm. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm back. It's a totally different day. The storm is over. We all made it through. Everything's fine. I did want to say that if you've made it to the end of this video, we do have a sale going on right now on the shop. I will have the codes listed below, but it is an end of summer sale and it's a pretty good deal. So definitely check that out. Here is the end reveal of the spread. I think it turned out really beautifully and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.